Do you ever find yourself lying awake at night, finding it hard to fall asleep, with your mind racing with countless thoughts and worries about the future? Perhaps it's a looming deadline at work, a family member's health, your financial situation, challenges with your relationships, or a personal decision that weighs heavily on your heart. These thoughts can feel like a, you're struggling to climb a mountain or like an intricate puzzle with no clear solution. But today, I bring you hope. There's a way to break free from this cycle of worry. There's a way to let go of these burdens and find peace, guidance, and assurance. Stay with me on this journey as I explore a timeless truth that has the power to transform your life. Let go and trust God. God does not want you to worry. Now, worry is something we all experience. It's that nagging thought that keeps us awake at night. It is the fear that grips us in uncertain times. Yes, worry is a heavy burden, but we don't have to carry it alone. And you should know this. God doesn't want you to be worried about anything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. In the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, it is written that we should not worry about anything, but rather pray about everything. The scripture says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. When we think about it, it may seem like worry is a natural part of being human, right? But God is calling us to rise above our human nature. He wants us to let go and trust Him so that we can overcome fear and worry. Remember with God, all things are possible. Don't allow yourself to be trapped in thoughts like, I can't help but worry about this or that. Or perhaps some of you might think you have no idea about the complex situation I'm facing right now. Or someone else may even say, my concern is so big, you wouldn't understand. Let go of negative thoughts. Negative thoughts are like weeds in the garden of the mind. If left unchecked, they can choke out the blossoms of hope, creativity, and joy. Instead, start focusing on the positive. Think about simple things that you can be thankful for. Philippians 4 verse 8 reminds us, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Remember, that our God is bigger than any problem we face. He isn't intimidated or overwhelmed by our challenges. No matter how big or complicated our worries might seem, God's power and wisdom are infinitely greater. His love for us means that He's always ready to guide us through our trials. As the Bible reminds us in Jeremiah 32, verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The Bible also tells us in the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 25, that anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down. Isn't it true? Worry, worry weighs us down. It can make our steps heavy and our days dreary. God didn't intend for us to live with this weight. This is what God is saying to you today. And I will read it from Matthew 11, verses 28 to 30. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. These words from God are like a friendly invitation to stop worrying and start trusting him. He's telling us that we don't have to carry our heavy burdens all by ourselves. God is offering to help us 
and his way is much easier. If we learn from him and follow his lead, we can find real rest and happiness. It's like having a strong friend who's always there for you, ready to carry the heavy stuff, so you don't have to. Now, throughout the Bible, we see where men and women faced giant-sized worries and see how they learned to trust God with their troubles. Ordinary people like Hannah, Gideon, Joseph, and Daniel, plus countless others, all faced extraordinary worries, and they overcame their troubles. By putting your trust in God, you can also overcome your worries. Jesus said this in Matthew 6, verses 25 to 27. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? How true are these words? Worrying won't make us taller, richer, or healthier. Just as the birds of the sky are taken care of, so are we in the loving hands of our Heavenly Father. Let's take a moment to consider the lesson from the story of the Israelites in the desert. God provided manna for them every day, and they had no need to worry about their next meal. Our faith in God can help us to overcome the worry that often overshadows our lives. The knowledge of God's sovereignty over everything helps us let go of our fear and trust in Him fully. In Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6, we read, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. How comforting to know that God, who created the heavens and the earth, watches over our every step. So stop trying to figure out everything. We don't need to understand everything. We just need to trust that God is in control. He is all-knowing. He knows the end from the beginning. And He is on our side. God's love for us is constant and unchanging. He cares for us deeply and wants us to cast all our worries and fears onto Him. In 1 Peter 5, verse 7, the Apostle Peter writes, Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. Think about the story of Hagar and Ishmael, cast out and fearing for their lives. Yet, God saw them heard them, and provided for them. In Genesis chapter 21, verses 16 to 19, the Bible says, Then she went and sat down across from him, at a distance of about a bow shot. For she said to herself, Let me not see the death of the boy. So she sat opposite him, and lifted her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad. Then the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven, and said to her, what ails you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him with your hand, for I will make him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the skin with water and gave the lad a drink. This reminds us that God's love is not reserved for a select few. It's a love that extends to all of us. Just as he provided a well for Hagar and Ishmael, he will also provide for our needs. Trusting God is not just a feeling. It's a choice. It's a conscious decision to let go of our anxiety and worries and embrace his peace. At Isaiah 26, verses 3 to 4, the Bible tells us, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. The story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace 
illustrates this profound trust. They chose to believe in God's power, even when faced with death. Their faith allowed them to stand firm, and God honored their trust by delivering them. Sometimes, we may wonder how to trust God. What are the practical steps we can take? Prayer is the first step. It is our direct communication with God. Through it, we can share our fears, joys, and everything in between. Psalm 62 verse 8 tells us, Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Now the next step is reading and meditating on God's Word. It opens our hearts and minds to His promises, His wisdom, and His unchanging character. It's a personal invitation into understanding His nature and His unwavering love for us. Another way to build our trust in God is to spend time with fellow believers. Doing this encourages and strengthens our faith as we see God's work in the life of others and we can share and receive support, inspiration, and love. It also helps us grow and gives us a sense of belonging. And relying on the Holy Spirit's guidance is also another way to grow our trust in God. This is a daily surrender to God's will. Recognizing that we can't walk this path alone, the Holy Spirit guides us in truth, comforts us in our struggles, convicts us when necessary, and empowers us to live a life that honors God. The peace that comes from letting go and trusting God is a profound and lasting peace that the world cannot offer. Jesus tells us in John 14 verse 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Do you remember the storm that frightened the disciples on the sea? When the disciples woke, Jesus, he calmed the wind and the waves. The same Jesus can calm our storms today. You just need to believe that. Trust in God's perfect plan for your life. No matter what, our Savior, Jesus Christ, is the perfect example of trusting in God's plan. Even facing the agony of the cross, he prayed in Matthew 26, verse 39, O oh my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. His surrender to the Father's will, even unto death, is an example for us all. Jesus trusted in the bigger picture, in God's ultimate plan for salvation. He knew the pain, but he also knew the victory. We're not alone in our struggle with worry. The Holy Spirit is our helper and comforter. In Romans 8, verses 26 to 27, Paul explains, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us, with groanings which cannot be uttered. So, the Holy Spirit's work within us strengthens our faith and helps us to overcome our fears. Another thing is, worry has a destructive power over our lives. It can lead to physical, emotional, and spiritual health problems. Proverbs 12 verse 25 says, Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. By letting go of worry and embracing trust in God, we open ourselves to a more joyful and abundant life. The story of Hannah in the book of Samuel is a beautiful example. Her worry and sadness turned to joy when she entrusted her desire for a child to the Lord. Her story can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 10 to 11, and verses 19 to 20. Trusting in God allows us to live a life of purpose and fulfillment. God has a perfect plan for each one of us. 
Jeremiah 29 verse 11 assures us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The story of Joseph, who went from a pit to a palace, shows us that even in our darkest moments, God's plan is still at work. By trusting in Him, we can live a life full of purpose, unbothered by unnecessary worries. Dear friends, our God is trustworthy, loving, and sovereign. He does not want us to live in fear or anxiety, so let us let go of our worries, trust in Him, and live in the peace and joy that He promises. Let the examples from the Bible and the very words of God Himself encourage us to put our complete trust in Him. Let's walk in faith, knowing that we are cared for, guided, and loved by our Heavenly Father. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God, Heavenly Father, the King of all creation, the giver of life and love. I praise you for your unending mercy and grace. Lord, you are mighty and wonderful and your name is to be glorified above all. In the name of Jesus, I declare that worry and anxiety have no place in my life. Lord, help me to trust you in all things. Help me to let go of the burdens that weigh me down and to walk in faith, confident that you hold all things in your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of anxiety or confusion that tries to take hold of my mind or heart. I rebuke all forms of fear and uncertainty, knowing that you are in control of everything. Father, I lift up my loved ones to you. Watch over them and guide them, dear Lord. Strengthen their faith. Fill them with your love and let them experience your peace that passes all understanding. Surround them with your presence and let them know that you are always there for them. Pour out your blessings upon them so they may experience your amazing grace in every moment. I pray for blessings in my life, Lord. May you open the doors of prosperity, provide for my needs, and help me to be able to share with others. May your favor follow me as I give you thanks for the abundant gifts that you give to me. Heavenly Father, I ask for healing. Lord, may you reach out your hand and touch my body, soul, and spirit. Father, may you restore me to full health and let me feel your comforting presence, for you are the great physician, and by your stripes I am healed. Lord, I pray for your protection over myself and my loved ones. May you shield us from danger, guard us from those who would seek to harm us, and keep us safe in your loving arms. May we walk in confidence, knowing that you are our protector. In the name of Jesus, I pray for deliverance. Lord, break the chains that bind me, release me from the grip of sin, and lead me into a life filled with your grace and mercy. Set me free from everything that keeps me from you, so that I may serve you wholeheartedly. Loving Father, I thank you for the assurance that I can let go of my worries and trust in you completely. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I thank you, Lord, for every person opening their heart to you right now. Lord, I ask that you fill them with your Holy Spirit and with your love for those who need strength to get through the day. Lord, may you give them strength and courage for those who woke up feeling worried, feeling hurt, or feeling pain. Holy Spirit, may you be their comforter. Lord, help them to experience your peace when their heart is worried. For the person who feels lost, hopeless, and needs some help figuring out what to do, 
Lord, I ask that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide them into all truth. Lord, I pray that our hearts will be united in faith and purpose. May we stand together as followers of Christ, encouraging one another and living lives that glorify you. Let our trust in you grow and may our lives be filled with joy, peace, love, and understanding. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section below. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or a family member and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. And we also invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. To God be all the glory. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.